Grüezi YouTubers. Here is the guy with the Swiss accent again. One of my first videos was about Dupont wires. There I said that I do not like to crimp myself and use prefabricated wires. Now I know why and I would like to share with you how I changed it. When I started with Arduinos, one of the first actions was to buy a crimping tool of AliExpress. There are many of them available and no obvious difference were visible. So I got this one here. I started with crimping and after looking at some videos, I was even able to get the connectors attached to the wires. But I was never happy because my connectors did not enter easily into the empty shells. If you watched my former video, you know that I like to use empty shells for my work. I discovered two problems. First, the connectors were sometimes bent after crimping. At the end, I was able to avoid this flaw or at least correct it with pliers after crimping. The second thing I was never able to change. The connectors were too wide to be inserted into the shell even if I used the smallest groove of the crimping tool. When looking at crimping videos, many YouTubers used the Japanese engineering PA09 crimping tool. So I decided to get one of eBay, directly from Japan. It was three times more expensive than my first tool. And this is what I got. It looks quite cheap and has no ratcheting mechanism. My old one is much heavier than the new one. Summarized, I have to admit that my first impression was not very good. But then I crimped my first test wire and was absolutely impressed. Even if you do not see a big difference between the grooves of the Chinese and the Japanese tool, it is a completely different world. This is the reason for this video. I do not get any reward or anything else. I'm only excited and wanted to share it with you that you do not make the same mistake as I did. I think the difference between the two tools has to do with manufacturing precision, but I'm not sure. The only thing I can say, one tool does not work at all and was a disappointment and the other works and is a joy. I crimp now two connectors and show you the results. The old crimper does everything in one step because its groove is broader. The engineer crimper needs two steps. One to crimp the copper and one to crimp the plastic. This takes a bit longer. Here are the results from the back and from the front. Do you see which crimper created which result? And this is how they insert into an empty shell. What a difference! I hope this video helps you to avoid some frustration. Please leave a comment about your experience with crimping tools and tell us also if you own another crimping tool which works fine. Bye!